the best indicator for trading on Binance. So if we go over to Classic and we go to start trading, let's just use Bitcoin as an example. I'm going to move this over to the hourly chart and this gives us a better idea. Now, if you don't know how to add indicators, you click this button here that says technical indicator and it's going to give you a few indicators. So I'm going to turn off all of these moving averages and then I am going to turn on Bull, which is Bollinger Band. Now, as you can see, this is the Bollinger Band indicator. It has three lines, the top band, the moving average, and then the bottom band. Now, if I just open this up so it's bigger, I can explain this more. Now, when the price touches the top of this Bollinger Band, this means that price is potentially overbought and is looking to come down soon. The opposite is also true where if price touches the bottom of this Bollinger Band, it is likely to reverse and go up. Now, it is important to note that the further out time zone you use, the better this strategy is. This is the one hour, and if we move out to the daily, you can see that this strategy is a lot more reliable. Now, if you want to take this strategy a step further, you can actually add in the RSI indicator. Make sure it's not the stochastic, just the regular RSI, and then you also want to make a few tweaks. You want to turn the 24 off, turn the six off, and make this the 14. Now, what you are looking for on the RSI is slightly different. Now. I'm just going to switch over to trading view to make this more visible. And on the RSI, there are a few things you should look for. The first is price crossing above this overbought and oversold level. If price goes above this 70 line, this means that price is overbought and can reverse down just like in this area here. Alternatively, when price hits this oversold level, we expect price to reverse to the upside. And depending on how tight your stop loss was around this area, this could have also been a profitable trade. So you can use both of these levels with each other to look for trades. Now, as we can see, price touched the top of this Bollinger Band line and the RSI was also in the overbought level, meaning that we expected price to move to the downside. Now in this trade, price did move against us slightly it went down and then came back up but if you entered here unless you have a super tight stop loss this is not going to stop you out and this would have been a profitable trade so that is how to use the bollinger band and regular rsi strategy however for the more advanced traders i want to show you how to make the rsi 10 times more profitable and that is looking for something called divergence now i'm not going to go into hidden divergence i'm I'm just going to cover the basic divergence, which is bullish and bearish divergence. So bearish divergence is where price makes a higher high like this area here. In fact, I'm going to turn Bollinger Band off so you can see this more clearly. Price made a higher high and at the same time, the RSI made a lower high. Now from this, we can imply that price is going to make a down move and it did in this area here. Now RSI divergence is one of the most effective indicators out there. It may take a while to get used to. However, it is definitely worth seeing because once you know this, you will see it everywhere and you will become a very profitable trader. We also have an example of bullish divergence. In this example, price did not make a lower low, but it stayed the same. However, the RSI made a higher low, meaning that this is bullish divergence. And then in this area here, price made a big move to the upside. If we look for some more divergence, you can see that price made a higher high. And then all across this area here, price was making lower highs. So this is bearish, meaning we expect price to make a downtrend, which it did and you could have made a pretty nice profit here. One more time, this is an awesome example of divergence. Price makes a higher high and a higher high again. And in the same time, price makes a lower high and then it makes another lower high. So we would have shorted this, we would have expected price to make a downtrend and it did make a massive downtrend in this area here. That was the best indicators for trading on Binance. I hope you guys enjoyed.